Hello to our River Hills family, Pastor Ryan uh, coming to you. I'm so excited to be sharing with you over a series uh, of a few videos introducing some of the new staff uh, that the Lord has really sent our way. And I'm so excited to have Pastor Chuck Noel here with us today. Uh, him and his wife, Sharon, uh, they moved here to the state of Florida and uh, to the metropolis of Waimama not too long ago. Uh, and the Lord has really uh, brought them to this church and has done a, a great work in connecting us together. And so, Pastor Chuck, I just want to say how excited I am to have you here. Pastor, thank you, man. I am really excited about being here. Uh, we immediately connected to the vision and mission of this church, and uh, we just sensed that God is doing something amazing. And uh, I certainly didn't, you know, retire from pastoring to come to Florida right. uh, and uh, to work again in a church, but I just kind of felt like the Lord knit our hearts together and that he has uh, a great future for us. And uh, I look forward to working alongside you and seeing what God's going to do. I do too. It's been so great working with you uh, so far, and in just the couple of weeks that you've been here on staff, it's without a doubt you've been a tremendous asset. Uh, and and you really, I mean, you're not an old guy, but you come to us with decades of ministerial uh, experience. Can you kind of share like an overview of kind of where you've been, what you've done, and 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 how you got here? Well, uh, we sort of started our ministry, Sharon and I together. Um, being evangelists and traveling and all of that. But over the years, we pastored in Ohio and Indiana. Um, I say served as a state youth and discipleship director mm -hmm. uh, for several years and uh, then went to work with Dr. Brian Cutshaw at Twin Rivers in St. Louis and served as his executive pastor. And then the Lord uh, sent us to Columbus, Ohio to uh, a church revitalization process. And uh, we just watched God do miracles and change things there for that congregation and, and for that community. And we're so grateful for that. And uh, we knew God was changing our season. Mm -hmm. um, didn't necessarily anticipate what we're doing, but I am so glad that God has taken us in the direction that he has. Uh, I am excited. I believe that great things are going to come out of all of us working together here. Amen. Amen. You really gave like the humble version uh, of where you came from. I want to give the more realistic version. Uh, you, we are, we are part of a movement, the Church of God. It's been around for well over a hundred years, and and we have eight million members uh, worldwide, over a million members here in the states. And and you were selected to uh, come out of the local church ministry into administration, working uh, in several states, and that is a real honor. And so the experience that you had. Uh, there really led you to Dr. Cutshaw there at Twin Rivers, and, and this was a church that had 4,000 members, and yeah. uh, and so it was, it's like you've been to the mountain, you've been where, <laughs> where we're headed, and, and so it's so exciting to have somebody with your ministerial experience and the exposure that you've had uh, coming to coming to this congregation, and you mentioned something uh, the la from the last place that you were, you went to a revitalization uh, project, and that's something that's really huge. Um, you know, for, for those who may not know, River Hills, we've been around for over 100 years, and, uh, and it's a church who has gone like everybody else has gone through a roller coaster. We've had ups and downs. We had a heyday in our history. Uh, and then, you know, there went through a series of changes and transitions. And then we had COVID happen. And it just completely changed the landscape uh, of how we do ministry. And so this is a church who has such a rich history uh, within, the, within our movement in the Church of God uh, in the state of Florida and even in uh, the, the movement abroad uh, in, the, in the whole United States. Uh, and so we've really come into in this season, a, a rebuilding effort. Can you take just a minute and share what revitalization, what church revitalization looks like? Yeah, church revitalization uh, is exciting, and I believe that God is moving across the country to revitalize and re-energize churches that I think, in some instances, people have written off yeah. altogether. But revitalization means that what got you to your peak is not what's going to take you into your future. Amen. It means that you have to change course, that it can't be about the same old, same old, uh, because if we keep doing the same things we've been doing, we're just going to get the same results that we've been getting. So revitalization is about changing course. It's about seeing a new and a fresh future 
for this ministry. It's about seeing God taking us into a new season and taking the systems of our church and the processes of our church and bringing those in line with what God wants to do uh, in the future so that he prepares us for the harvest that's coming in. Look, I believe our, our Lord is coming back Amen. soon. Amen. I'm one of those people that believes wholeheartedly in that. But I also believe that there is a last day great revival. There's Amen. a move of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's a great harvest coming in. And I just sense here in this place that God is preparing us for that. He's gave, given us a church that's diverse. He's given us a church that looks like our community. And it, it, I can't tell you how much it excites me to yeah. be a part of that. And we are changing course, and we are moving in a fresh and a new direction, and it's breathing new life into this church, and um, the sky's the limit for River Hills. It absolutely is. I, I completely uh, agree. And you mentioned systems and structures, and you know those aren't the flashy points, uh, the flashy parts of ministry, but they are really the the skeletal structure. What would our bodies be without without our skeleton? And and I like to describe it as the glue. You know, it's unseen, but it's what holds everything together. And this harvest that that we're talking about, like I said, I I said this in church Sunday. I believe that when September hits, we're going to experience a season of harvest. Uh, and and I, as you just mentioned a minute ago, we've really got to prepare for this harvest. And, and this is why I believe the Lord sent us administrators who are coming in to help us with the systems and structure of the church. And you serving as the executive pastor, having experience that you've had, bringing the wisdom and the knowledge that you're bringing, uh, especially in regards to our systems and structures, is really going to position us for when the harvest comes that we're ready to receive it. Because if we receive it and we're not ready for it, it's something that I believe we'll just lose. And, and we'll have lost, lost a great opportunity opportunity. And, and right now you're talking about this fresh uh, breath, this fresh wind that, that we're experiencing. And, and I really, really believe the Lord has, has given us a fresh sense of momentum. Well, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about uh, systems when they think about revival because right. um, they think about fantastic, emotionally charged services. And, and we have those absolutely uh, as well. That's a part of what God's doing here. Uh, but um, I kind of like uh, being on the the structural end of things, uh, because years ago when I first started in the ministry, I had to do some carpenter work uh, to help put groceries on the table. And one thing I learned, you can't hang sheetrock and paint it and put pretty pictures on it unless you get the framing Come right. on, somebody. <laughs> and so one of the things that God is helping us to do together and the wonderful staff that God's put together here is we're getting the framing yes. together so that as God pours out his spirit and people are brought in and, and they're saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, our church is going to be ready to receive them. Uh, and it's not just going to be a cosmetic thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be enough depth to our church because Jesus doesn't have a catch and release policy. Yeah. When we get him in the net and get him in the boat, he wants us to keep every one that we can. So Absolutely. we're structuring to do that, and we're making progress just in two or three weeks. We're making progress, and we're seeing God help us with that, and I'm excited. I'm excited too, and I'm so grateful that – uh, the Lord sent you here, and and you coming to River Hills, you know, as you mentioned, that that wasn't your plan in retiring from pastoring, coming to Ohio. That's another story for another day. But it's so evident that God is providentially working in your life, in my life, the life of this church, and just knitting this beautiful tapestry that's coming together. And I'm so excited to be working with you in this season and in the future. Uh, and over the next few episodes of what we're going to be doing here, I'm going to be introducing some more uh, of the staff who has. Come Come on recently to give you an opportunity to really meet them uh, and find out some more about them. But Pastor Chuck, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so glad you're part of the River Hills family. To my River Hills family, we love you. We hope you're having a Amen. great week, and we cannot wait to see you this weekend. God bless you.